very good evening students ellarigu namaskara nan hesaru jayant assistant professor st claret college so today we are into discussion of the important questions on auditing and corporate governance so when you just look after the term called auditing and corporate governance here you are trying to look after the five chapters the chapter 1 is introduction to auditing and the chapter 2 will be internal control and the chapter 3 will be auditing and the chapter 4 will be verification and valuation of assets and liabilities and the chapter 5 will be corporate governance so in all these five chapters when we look after so we try to look after all the reasons of the importance which has to be given and prati chapter lo navu yaya probable questions barabahudu nimma examination bangalore city university students ge anbittu so navu ivatta adanna neat agi discuss madana swalpa swalpa adru bagge information kuda tagolana coming to your first chapter introduction to auditing so auditing and that's why your syllabus tells you regarding auditing andre you know definition en irbeku what should be the objectives difference in accountancy andre you know auditing andre you know and you have uh, something called new audit commencement hang madbeku audit notebook andre you know significance andre you know then the duties and liabilities professional ethics so you have so many questions when you just look for something called as auditing so in the very simple terms auditing andre enu sir andre it is something called as a systematic examination of the books and records of a business in the organization so pratiyond organization allu you can see accountancy idde irutte pratiyond organization allu you can see the accounting will be happening in a very rigorous way so once the accountancy is done so you have to make sure pratiyond document to correct agidya athwa is there any changes which is been required so to verify something called as a report in the financial operation or if you want to come up with a result or a output okay so this is where you term to be call it as something called as an auditing okay so further now questions nortta hogana yav thumba important anta adralli when you just look after in the very first chapter so ellarigu gottirli definition of auditing andre enu athwa what is the meaning of auditing ಇಷ್ಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ದಿ ಓವರ್ ಆಲ್ ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಡಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಆಡಿಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಸೊ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಡಿಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಆಡಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಡಿಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಡಿಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಡಿಟ್ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ so second chapter barodadre you have something called as internal control okay so auditing antane already now nodirodrinda you have something called internal control and as well as external control okay so internal control antashna sir is it only internal check athwa internal audit anta karithiva to be very precise enough internal control is not only internal check athwa it is not only something called as internal audit it's all about the whole system which is helping for you to control the overall financial objectives and as well as the overall management work okay so in a simple way helbeku andre sir now secure maadirttakkanta almost ella asset organization alli irodu matte what is the possibility way of something called as accuracy and what is the reliability in the records so now record alli enadru one thorstivi andre sir accuracy estide something like 90% of accuracy or 100% of accuracy and how it has been controlled by the internal system of the organization okay so this is something what you are trying to look after in the chapter 2 something called as internal control so chapter 1 alli agle heldange there is one important questions where you have to focus that is something called as types of audit okay so this is one question where you can also cover for two marks where you can also cover for section c okay so this is something where you have to concentrate a lot internal control alli sir what all you can look after so once again you have to look after one definition of what is internal control jothege you also have to know what do you mean by internal audit okay so whenever you go for this internal and external audit which has to be taken okay so you should also be knowing how to evaluate these terms and you should also be knowing internal audit andre continuous and systematic review okay vandinak nillala sir it would be completely something called as systematic review aagtane irutte okay idru jothe kindly focus on something called as the differences between internal check and internal audit and also the differences between internal audit and external audit okay so by the meantime you also try to look after for uh, some two marks yen sir what are the principles which you can try to look after 
and uh, how you can uh, kindly go ahead with something called internal check and internal control so this is something what you can go for two marks and as well as section c so section c ke kindly focus on differences and also try to focus more on um, something related to the aspects of uh, how internal control and external control will behave in the organization okay go for chapter 3 chapter 3 is all about coaching okay yen yeah, sir idu what do you mean by a voucher and there will be something called as the contents which is also been required in coaching okay so coaching is nothing but it is something like a technical term which it is referred as something called inspection okay auditor anta yaar irtare so these auditor will try to inspect the documentary evidences or the supporting evidences so which is been required for the overall transaction ಸರ್ ಈಗ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಬಿಲ್ ಜನರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದ ಬಿಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಜನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಡಾಕ್ಯುಮೆಂಟರಿ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೋಚಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ವೇ ಸೊ ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬೋನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಡಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಡ್ವಾಂಟೇಜಸ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಸರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ there is something like differences between a checking and a coaching so routine check anta ond irutte coaching anta irutte okay yen sir idu routine checking andre so any a time when you go for something called routine check so if there is something where you have to check about the documents check maartirtira this is something called routine check when you go for a coaching sir ideno coaching is something where it also look after the authenticity and accuracy so routine checking al eno you will check you will complete but when you go for coaching you try to look after what is the authenticity and accuracy okay so this is something where you have to look after so it is something like documentary evidences which has been required and there are different type of vouchers like example cash memo bank pay in slip minutes of meetings agirbodu there is something like bill sold notes debit note credit note or the wage sheets or a book all this is something where an example which has been related to coaching coaching al enen nodkobeku andre sir so contents of a voucher nodkoli what do you mean by voucher nodkoli so then also kindly look after what are the different types of voucher okay so these are some of the three important questions where you have to look after in this chapter then go for the fourth one okay so the fourth chapter is verification and valuation of assets and liabilities okay the term itself says in a very simple way verification and valuation so one city has been verified or one city has been inquired or one city is uh, something where you call it as an title or an existence so later you have to also look after something called valuation okay so nan value madirad correct agidya athwa nan verify madad mele sumne bitre what is that something where you have to look after is prati assets mate liabilities go so you have to verify and then you also have to value what is the overall objective or what is the overall objective of something called as the asset so in this particular chapter so you have to look after the verification of assets which is been done on plant and machinery and goodwill investment stock cash in hand so ee tara prati on the asset mate liability mele how it has been done then whenever a valuation is done so valuation ill martivi sir valuation will be done on some land and building it will be done on plant and machinery and it will be also done on goodwill okay so this is where you have to look after pratyond asset mate liability ge sir how it will be done on the how verification and valuation will be done okay so illi in a very simple way if you just look after verification matte valuation ya yeah, ya yeah, assets mele ya ya liabilities mele concentrate madbeku anta gottadre so your work is uh, almost done okay so then if you look after okay the last chapter that is corporate governance okay when you just look for corporate governance so corporate governance is something very simple it will try to promote the organizations corporate fairness there are transparency and as well as the accountability okay so in a very simple way sir corporate governance andre ene helutte on the organization promotion alli corporate fairness transparency matte accountability hege help agutte anta helutte okay so today all the companies are being directed and as well as been controlled by the overall mechanics of something called as corporate governance so if you want to make sure a place ali correct agide so if there is any balance proper balance happening between the shareholders directors employees auditor matter management andre it's only because of corporate governance so here you should be knowing what is the purpose and scope 
and how it really signifies for something called as corporate governance. But the directors are according to the Companies Act 2013 and who are the different type of directors. So and others to try to also look after something called as the committees on corporate social responsibility and as well as uh, the corporate governance reports okay so kindly concentrate more on uh, the different type of directors who has been appointed and the procedure and also look after some committees uh, which has been happened so which will be important and also kindly look after the scope okay so this is something uh, very importantly where you have to look after and here are some important questions where you have to concentrate okay like what do you mean by auditing objectives of the auditing importance of the auditing the different type of errors and frauds then who is an company auditor what do you mean by an forensic audit difference between the internal and external audit and explain the role techniques and importance of auditing and explain the different types of auditing which is very important explain the professional ethics duties and responsibilities of company auditor what do you mean by corporate governance principal scope or purpose of corporate governance then who is a director and explain the different types of auditors or directors explain the different valuation of assets and liabilities so i have already mentioned yadi avdu so like uh, plant and machinery on goodwill so this is something where you have to look into it okay then what is oching difference between routine checking and oching so difference between internal audit external audit and internal check and what are the contents in a voucher what are the fundamental principles of internal check and finally you have to explain the purpose and significance of internal check and voucher okay so these are some of the important question dear students so kindly concentrate on it do well in your examinations we will meet you in the next session thank you